Hi friends, welcome back. No long intro. We have a Goodwill outlet haul. I will share with you what I paid um, towards the end because the receipt's in here somewhere and I don't remember. I've got four big bags. Let's jump into it. First up, I'm pretty sure I vlogged the day I bought this. This is a Kiehl's um, makeup bag and surprisingly, you guys, the inside is in really good condition. A lot of times when I find purses, makeup bags at the bins, they're usually dusty and beat up, but this is in great condition. I always tell you guys, um, I like picking up makeup bags. They're easy to photograph. They're easy to list. And there is a market out there for them, especially if you find those higher end brands like Dior, Givenchy, Chanel, even the tiniest like little makeup bag you guys I've sold for a quick 20, 25 bucks. So don't sleep on those. Um, to be honest with you guys, I bought a lot of this stuff like a month ago, so I don't remember most of what I bought. Um, this is 85% silk, 15% cashmere, and I just bought this because it's in great condition. And I sell lots of silk and cashmere on eBay, sometimes on Poshmark too. Um, I try to shoot for items that are like 100% silk, 100% cashmere, 100% like one material. But a lot of the crafters that buy this stuff, they don't care. Really, they don't. As long as it's silk or cashmere, I'm telling you. I just sold this weekend a lot of 25 I mixed it together, silk and cashmere pieces. A ton of it had holes, stains, and I sold it for $150 on eBay, you guys. So it looks like Goodwill had this marked at $9.99, and I got it at the bins. So I will add that to my lot and sell it. What do we have here? Why did I pick this up? This is that um, JOSA Bank brand, Joss, Joss A Bank. Is this silk or something? This must be silk. There's no other reason I would pick this up. I do not resell this brand. I don't think I ever have, honestly. Okay, there we go. It's 100% silk. So I'm gonna lock this up and sell it. I don't need to keep telling you guys that. Anything that's 100% silk or cashmere, unless it's like a, a brand that I really like selling, usually I just sell it as a lot. We have a Brooks Brothers 100% silk tie. I don't know why, but ties sit so long for me. I've just stopped selling them myself, you guys. Um, I do find some ties that I send to the real real sometimes. This is Alice and Olivia. It's a size small petite black bodysuit. You guys, this probably retailed for over a hundred bucks. So I was super happy to find this. I do pretty well selling this brand. Um, this is in really good condition. Nice. That's a great bin sign bag what are these we have some pants from Windsor oh yeah I did film this day these are size three I remember telling you guys on the voiceover part that I used to really love selling Windsor dresses I still do I just don't find them as often as I used to but I've never sold like a pair of pants from them so this is just kind of like a test buy for me looks like Goodwill was charging $6.99 and I got them at the bins so I don't know they're just a pair of basic black slacks we'll see what they sell for I must have bought this for myself. <laughs> it says, it's a sleeveless t-shirt. I don't know if you guys can even see that. It says, meet me in California, and the California is in white writing. The brand is Michelle by Commune. I'll show you a close up. I've never heard of this brand. I'll have to look it up. Um, I think I was planning on keeping this for myself, but it looks like though it was altered because I think it used to have sleeves, so. I don't know, look it up. That's either for me or if it's worth a lot of money, I'll sell it, but I'll probably just keep it. Um, these are Paige denim. They're the Hoxton Ultra Skinny Pants. What size are these? Size 29. Um, the Real Real takes this brand for me sometimes. I've never found Paige jeans or pants that are like this faux corduroy situation. I only ever find denim, so I thought that this was interesting. I do not have the best luck selling this myself, this brand. And it's a shame because these pants, I looked it up. I think they retailed for like $180. And I don't know, Paige just sits and sits and sits for me unless it's a super recent style. So I'll probably send those to Thread Up or The Real Real. I'm not going to be selling those myself. Is that it for bag number one? Wait, there's something else in here. Oh, it's the foot for my shelf and my storage unit. 
I think you that video will be up before this one, but we, as I told you guys, we are moving closer to the beach. So that means I have to move all of my inventory. For those of you that are new around here, I live in a three bedroom apartment. I do not store my inventory in our apartment. Um, I have a storage unit. So I was planning on just having movers move all my inventory and my boyfriend kind of convinced me. He's like, we can do it ourselves. You could save a couple hundred bucks. It's a good workout. I was like, all right, fine. And I'm in that video, you'll hear me kind of say like, oh, I wish we would have used movers. This was a lot of work. And it was a lot of work. But then when I thought about it, like, it was just kind of nice to organize everything myself. I did save. I calculated because I called a local moving company and they recommended two guys for all the stuff. I have a thousand pieces of inventory between Amazon, eBay, and Poshmark. Um, they said two guys at, I think they said it would be like a hundred bucks an hour. Um, so, and with drive, I think drive time is double price for, anyways, it was going to be like close to a thousand bucks. So I was like, no, no, no. We got a U-Haul with gas and everything. It ended up costing like $380. I saved so much money, you guys. And that's money that I can use to buy inventory. Um, I picked up these PJs. The brand is Jillian and O'Malley uh, Sleepwear. I've seen this brand. Isn't it sold at like Kohl's or JCPenney or something? Anyways, I just bought these for myself because I love soft um, silk or faux silk feeling pajamas. That's just all I sleep in. So I'm going to wash those and keep those for myself. So yeah, we moved um, my storage unit. So I'm finding like random pieces of shelves and things everywhere. It's hilarious. These are J brand, just some black skinny jeans. I always like can't figure out where they put the size of these. It's always on a separate tag. Size 25. I'm gonna send sell these on consignment. Again, another higher end denim brand that does not sell that much for me or it doesn't sell at all a lot of times. So I always send those to either Thread Up or the Real Real. What is this? This just looked like an expensive brand. I think I looked it up at the bins. And I think the real real takes this or something. I found it somewhere. Antonio Dorico. Made in Italy. That's what the tag looks like. I'm trying to do more close-ups of tags when I can because I know that's helpful to a lot of you. So I have to look this up again. Oh my gosh. I just lightly held this out and whatever something just fell out of this and it looked really good it looks like sand and skin particles that's gross that's gonna need to be like really cleaned oh it went on my desk too what is that i don't want to think about it you guys let's just keep going <laughs> um next up we have some lucky brand jeans these are a size they're the authentic straight crop I always have such a hard time finding the size on jeans. Anyways, here's what they look like. I will probably be sending those to thread up. We have a black dress from Nasty Gal. I don't pick up Nasty Gal that often. It's a size two. Um, even for me on thread up, it doesn't sell for much. I'll be lucky if I get like $10 profit for that, but I'm not selling that myself. So I must have, some of the stuff I'm like, why did I buy this? I must have picked that up for thread up. Uh, what do we have here? A dress. This is intimately free people. It's a size extra small, really pretty dress. It's a bit see-through, but I will sell that myself. I sell a lot of intimately free people on Poshmark. I picked this up because it was new with tags. The brand is K, it's K-A-L-Y-A-N Silks. Kalyan? Kalyan Silks dress. It's new with tags. And it's a beautiful little girl's dress in this beautiful blue color. Is it 100% silk though? It doesn't feel like silk. I don't see a material tag, but I'll have to look this up. Either I'll sell that myself or send it um, out on consignment. This is a Zara size medium tank top. I bought this for myself. I love buying Zara at the bins for myself because this probably brand new, you guys, was probably like $20, 20 to 30 bucks. 
and I scored it for under two bucks. And it's just a nice peachy, lightweight tank top. I love buying stuff for myself. That's a good little outlet. For myself, for my boyfriend, for Zane, just thrifting in general. Um, another higher end denim brand, Hudson size 26 jeans that I will sell consignment. Oh, do you guys remember the bins video where I found this sweater and I was like, this is the softest sweater. It's just some random, um, every time I film, my mother calls. My mother or my boyfriend. I'll be right back, you All guys. All right, 20 minutes later, my mom and I were just like talking about cocoa and stuff. <laughs> Anyways, um, I basically got this for myself. It's just some random brand called Miracle, size small. It's just polyester, but it literally could fool me for cashmere you guys and goodwill was charging $6.99 that is for my personal closet we have these Talbots pants that goodwill was charging $6.99 for they are like a black faux velvet material and they're a size 4 petite I send 99% of the Talbots I have to thread up because it does really well for me there I love reusing these bags. I reuse them for all sorts of things, um, but right now they're great for like shipping supplies to wrap things in. I reuse all the bags I have. And then this is the same brand, um, what is it? Jillian O'Malley, those silk pajamas. We have some more faux silk pajama pants for myself. All right, friends. Oh, this bag is heavy. Bag number three. We have a coat. Oops, what is that? Oh, that's something from storage. Calvin Klein coat, size six, purple. Um, and Goodwill wanted fifteen dollars for this, and I'm going to probably send that to thread up. This thing that fell out, I purchased a while ago, and I didn't use it it's uh, a GPS tracker for your luggage if I remember I'll link it down below I travel a lot well pre COVID and post COVID I'm gonna start traveling a lot and I haven't had my luggage lost very often but we're gonna start doing some international traveling soon and um, I heard really good reviews on this one so yeah uh, I had it in my storage unit with my inventory and I was like what is this and I forgot I bought it so I'm going to use that because we're going to start traveling again soon. Um, these are Banks Journal size 28 men's shorts. These look really small. Are these men's? I don't know. I have to look these up. Goodwill wanted $3.99 for them. I'm probably going to sell those myself. What is this? It's a dress from American Eagle. It's a size small. Goodwill wanted $8.99 for it. I don't know if I'm going to sell this myself or thread up. I'll figure it out. I love picking up Nike at the bins, you guys. These are little boys Nike shorts. They're so cute. What size are these? They're gray. Goodwill wanted $3.99. I don't know the size. I might. I'll probably sell those myself, but I thought it had a size tag. We have some Levi's 542 uh, shorts. Goodwill wanted $5.99 for those. And they ended up at the bins because they did not sell. What is this? A jacket? This is a 9 West jacket. It's size 8. It's black. It has shoulder pads. I love sending business wear to thread up to sell. Some jeans um ella moss size 427 jeans i think this was a test buy to like see how much i could sell these for goodwill wanted 7.99 for those and they ended up at the bins i don't think i've ever sold that brand before you guys we have some nine west size 10 like khaki colored shorts they're longer though um thread up Isaac Mizrahi for Target. It's a jacket. It's new with tags. I don't usually pick this up, but it's new. It retailed for $34.99. Goodwill one in $9.99. I'll probably sell that myself. Does Isaac Mizrahi still sell at Target? I don't know. Um, 
These are Levi's 535 Super Skinny Shorts, size 31. Goodwill wanted $5.99 for these. They ended up at the bins, and they have these little star decals on the back and on the front. I'm probably going to sell those myself. My lighting gets so weird every time I show you guys an item. What is this? We have a dress from Charlotte Russe, size 2X. I must have picked this up just because it's a great size. Really pretty, like almost kind of like a mini dress. Um, and it has... Oh, it's new with tags. That's why I picked it up. And it retailed for $24.99. And Goodwill wanted half of that price. More than that. They wanted $15. Bucks. Goodwill, get out of here. I'll sell that myself. <laughs> Nine West. Uh, this is a size 8. Jacket. Shoulder pads. Business wear is picking up for me on ThreadUp. That's going to thread up. Fashion Nova. Size small. Which I don't know why I bought this, you guys. Because Fashion Nova, it's a top button-up animal print. Fashion Nova used to not, okay, we all know Fashion Nova doesn't retail for a ton, but I used to be able to resell it quickly and it would bring a lot of attention to my store or my closet, but now it just kind of sits. I think it's just saturated. I mean, I probably couldn't even sell this for 10 bucks, you guys. So I don't know why I bought this because I don't even really like it for myself. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. And then next up we have Carly 1850. These are 60% linen shorts, size large. Uh, Goodwill wanted $5.99, and I got them. I will sell those myself. Gotta get that summer stuff listed. All right, let me get the last bag. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. Oh. This isn't a bag of Goodwill stuff. This is a bag of Amazon inventory. Why is this? I don't even know. In the move, I feel like so many things just got mixed up, you guys. So that that was the last bag. So this wasn't a, as long of a haul as I thought. I thought I brought home more bags for my recent bins trip. A lot of it is just in my storage unit, and I just have to film the video. So Subscribe if you like Goodwill Outlet, uh, Thrift With Me's, um, Goodwill Outlet hauls, because I've told you this many times, you guys. Right now, I'm trying to get my inventory for as affordable as possible. I'm not buying a bunch of liquidation right now, not buying a ton of pallets, uh, boxes, like liquidation boxes. I'm mostly sticking to the Goodwill Outlet, Dollar Day, and then like thread up uh, items, things like that. I recently, for the first time ever, sourced slash bought some stuff for myself on the real real. I sell on the real real a lot, but I've never purchased things for myself. I purchased some Manolo Blahniks, um, some Stuart Weitzman shoes, some of them to sell, some of them to um, keep for myself. So I was thinking of doing a haul on that, but I was like, you know what? This is a reselling channel. I don't think you guys really care about stuff that I'm buying for myself, but I could show you the stuff I bought um to resell i don't know why that came up i don't know i'm all over the place but yeah oh that's what i was saying that i'm not sourcing like i'm not paying up for inventory right now and i've kind of explained that already why i'm doing that just the state of the economy and you know people are not spending on frivolous things so i'm just, as affordable as i can get inventory as possible so that I can sell it for a great price and people can get a deal. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you do, subscribe. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and I'll see you soon.